Okay, good day. Potato here. Right, we are going to be doing some Jurassic World Sandbox. Or Jurassic World Evolution 2 Sandbox specifically. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're doing a carnival only challenge. As you can see, I literally just created the map and I haven't played it at all. And I saved it at 2 o'clock in the morning because I really wanted to do it today. Okay, so we're going to do carnival only. I'm hoping it'll work. I've never done it before. Um, I don't even know if we can do it, but we shall find out. All right. And uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, editing potato here. I thought I'd do a little bit of running commentary. So I've sped this up by two minutes. I decided to start off with the classic Jurassic Park um, theme. I wanted to build from the middle and then work my way outwards in like a oh step into like a spider formation, but that kind of messed up from the beginning. Uh, so we're just gonna watch a little bit together. Uh, we'll see what I'm gonna do here. I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but it became a little bit of a mission. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's have a look here. So I started off with the obviously the the guest arrival. Um, and that was actually quite a lot of fun to do. I really enjoyed doing this. I wanted to build around, um, and you can see that was very skew. I didn't like that. because so I want to add more plants and that, as you will see, um, I haven't played this in a while, so I was very new to it again, as though I'd never played it before. I've never played it. So I started off just surrounding everything. Just trying to make it look nice and neat. I hope it worked. Okay. Ah, yes, the control center. That was our main thing, which uh, I wanted. I thought that looked pretty cool. I liked that little little thing there. That was really cool. Um, and then we go start doing the science center and the expedition. I didn't realize that in this Jurassic. Oopsie. Yeah, god damn. Um, in this Jurassic World version, I um, didn't know there were no amenities in the Jurassic Park thing. Only, only restrooms. You'll see a bit later what I mean by that. But yeah, let's keep watching and see how it goes. So I wanted to kind of set everything up first before I did any building so i did pause the game i usually do this in the beginning of games especially just to set up everything that is necessary even in the other games like uh, planet zoo i always build everything first before i actually do anything but i did, did need a staff center there we go so i started building everything uh, there was no power so i needed to build uh, some generators because i haven't unlocked anything else yet so i decided you know shove it there what the hell why not i wanted to build the power lines and i realized oh, i can't do that yet so i have to use the generator for a little bit okay there's everything see i kept on forgetting how everything everything goes because i wanted to go dig up some dinosaurs already but unfortunately not yet all right so at the moment, I didn't have anything. I didn't even have scientists, nothing. So I was, my plan was to go only carnival, uh, go with the small ones first, and then work my way up to the larger ones. But first, we need to do the damn science center. Yeah, so I'm just going through everything. Uh, I put down a nice level 5 fence to start off with my build for the... Uh, Dilophosaurus uh, enclosure, which I did mess up, so I'm actually tempted to start again, but I'm not gonna. I actually did mess this up a bit because I wasn't too sure how to make the fences look all nice and fancy. See, it was very skewed. So I had to, and I struggled. I literally struggled with this part. So I thought, let me try something else here. So I thought, let me just build straight down. I should have built it bigger. Unfortunately, I didn't. I wish I did, uh, because now, oh yeah, so I thought, no, 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 
let me rather just build as straight as I could. Like I say, I'm my my alignment is absolutely tip. Whoops, hello. See, there we go. Already messed up. So what I need to do is delete that. See that those three worked. It was oh hello. Um, I even said that I remember. There we go. Okay, so now I've got the four the four nice walls with the uh, nice curved corners. This thing I think also messed up my um. Whoops, I don't know what I was doing there. I think the four corners messed up my stuff. Yeah, you see, it's very skew. So I demolished the roads. And then I fixed it by making it straight like that. That's the downside to this. You see, look how skew the enclosure is. No, I, didn't, I did not like that. I was like, mm-mm. Mm -mm, I don't like it. So what I needed to do, I just got that built. I think I redid this. I made it straighter. Yep, demolish, demolish, demolish. And I realized now, literally I only realized now, it was just the one damn wall. There we go. So I tried this again. Didn't work. Didn't work out nicely for me. So delete that. All right. And I try again because I want to be cool. And that, nope, didn't work. I got quite upset with this. Okay. Getting there slowly. You know, you, you, you do learn from your mistakes, which is which is good news. So I built that there, and then I managed to get the curves. I do want to make an enclosure where the back piece is just rock, but I don't know if that's possible. But I will, I will test it out. I need to build another damn generator just to keep that thing running. All right, so we sped it up and built everything up. Hey, done. So we literally have no dinosaurs. What we do need to do is start. We we need we need scientists, and that was my biggest my biggest problem, and I'm so damn confused. Then I managed to hire some. Okay, so I try to go for people with high end points, if that makes sense. Like that one for welfare is seven, max seven. So I try to go for high ones and then uh, mediums, I suppose you could call it. But it still was not enough. So I needed more space. But first, we really need to get some dinos. And I wanted to find my little compies. I love little compies. So that was my, f oh, so not compies, that's only later, the dilos. <coughs> All right. And now we're going to have to do some research. So we decided to do some research on the medium so we could get the colonies. Uh, everything was still building. I was very confused. I'm like, why? This thing has power. Oh, well, makes complete sense now. Okay, then. I was upset with that. I was like, God damn it. So I had to damn well delete the fences, which upset me quite a bit because um, that I think also just messed up the size of the enclosures. And as you can see, I just put up with it. There's not much you can do except, you know, smile. Um... I was hoping to get more space in there. I was hoping the space would be enough for the dialogues, but unfortunately it was not. Okay, so now we need to do some research. So now I really wanted to get the points up for the scientists so they could have more experience. Unfortunately, I didn't do that straight away. And we I think we're busy waiting for the expedition to start. Yeah, oh, see, there we go. Now I'm doing the research. I was happy about that. Um, see, research available. Perfect. So this is sped up twice, twice speed. I did have a lot of fun doing this, though. It was an actual blast. There we go. Research complete. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, let's check. Can't do much there. 
I think it was amenities. Uh, I needed that, but my staff was busy. Uh, and I really wanted to upgrade my staff. I got so confused. Okay, there's my staff room I decided to put in. So at last I could actually upgrade and rest my staff. I actually take that setting off later because to be honest, it did become a pain in the ass, but I still don't have unlimited money. I started off with 35 and I think by the end I landed up with about 12 because I still need to bring in more dinos and my amenities. I'm terrible with amenities. Uh, absolutely disgusting. So I could hire more at last. I think uh, I got Ronald Childs. I think he was quite good because he had um, he was quite even across the across the board. But fast extraction was my big thing because I like the extraction of uh, all my dinosaur fossils and research and things like that. All right, so we're gonna go Dilo again. We're gonna take you and I think it was you. Two minutes to do. I can't remember what I did. There we go. All right, let's just do that. All right, so we're just going to wait. We do, I think we did extraction. All right, so that gave us 75% already, which is a nice amount for your first extraction. So I thought, yeah, let me try and beautify the place a little bit, just to see what it's like. So I decided, let's put on some rocks. What I'll do for my next playthrough of this, I will take out the rocks. I mean, take out my camera, sorry. <laughs> So you can actually see what the hell I'm doing on the left hand side. I thought, yeah, let's put some rocks down and then I need to put some trees, which I did. And uh, it looked pretty cool, to be honest. And then I didn't I didn't realize now, until now, but I like the way that looks, is that you can actually put in trees, which I didn't bloody know. See, look at that. Look at that. That looks so cool. Nice little entrance there, little rocks going. And I thought, yeah, let's let's um let's just put some ground cover. I don't know if it worked. Um, there we go, some trees. Like to me, that looks really cool with the rocks and the trees. And I want to do that once I've started expanding everything is actually um, just do that everywhere. Boom, trees and everything. So I was quite excited about that. Okay, so... Unfortunately, we have to refill everything. So we're going to carry on looking for the Dalo. I think actually we're done with that. So we're going to go straight for the uh, Serato. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to, the skins are awesome. But I thought, you know what? We're just going to randomize the skins completely. And we definitely want long-lived. I like long-lived dinosaurs. So we're just waiting for that to go. And um, yeah, just having a look at the different research things seeing what we can find so we're selecting the eggs i don't really like selecting the ones with negative traits but unfortunately there's not much we can do about that okay so we're putting down a meat uh, you know just just for some food let's add some water didn't do too much we released them and some nice colors all right now we're gonna we need to edit and i forgot how to do it so we're gonna put down a, a live feeder which is really cool and um, I'm having a look and I'm trying to figure out how to do it again. And I finally figured it out. So they like forests and stuff. They were 100% with it. They really liked it. Um, then I know how to put a ranger post down. Oh, my pop rating is very low. So I'm trying to, um, you know, just see what I can figure out regards to different contracts. I thought I'll do contracts. And yeah, so the Serato, we're going to be getting a hundred percent again so i'm very happy and i thought let me rather put down the viewing post before i do anything this i did mess up um i needed to make the enclosure bigger and so the plan was we're gonna just build another fence uh, i thought of making it straight but i just i changed my mind with it um oh that one was a bit skew i just extended a bit Okay, uh, we need to do more research. I rested all my staff quite a lot. Um, and actually got very irritating, to be honest. There we go. Okay, there's my Jurassic World uh, toilets. And I thought, hmm, let's put a 
a little hotel and I wasn't too sure how to put it to a you know I thought ah there we go we can just do that for now put a nice little generator it worked perfectly over there see there were no amenities and then I realized damn it they're under Jurassic World not Jurassic Park so I thought let me just swap over Jurassic Jurassic World which kind of sucks because I really wanted to get the feel of Jurassic Park in the game so I might restart this just let me know in the comments if you want me to do that instead uh, start a new park with just Jurassic World or I put the settings as just Jurassic Park um, to start a new game and you know it doesn't take that long I had so much fun doing this so we had the dialos and making sure they're all happy see they're, they're happy but later on they were complaining about space so we're going to do this around uh, we're doing more dialos I think we did a couple more and I think that's my I did all six because I thought, yeah, I'll stuff it. Let's go. Let's go nuts. And yeah, we're just waiting for them to incubate and all of that stuff. And there we go. Release them. And hey, there we go. Beautiful. And I think that's where the problem came in. There were just too many in the enclosure. And I think that's where I messed up. So we're doing a little bit more research. Okay, so our Dilophosaurus is done. Serata will be done pretty soon as well. I like to have a viewing viewing uh, post as well, a viewing gallery and all that. Uh, I've always loved that aspect of this game, of the viewing platforms and all that. So we got the Serato, we got him at 100. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're trying to uh, increase our park rating. Um, so I thought... What I would do with this um, this park is, like I say, carnivores, right? Only carnivores. But do I include, like, the fish eaters or the insectivores, the omnivores? So just let me know as well below if you think that's a good idea or not. I think it's a good idea, but hey, you know what? I could be completely wrong. So we're just adding some water uh, around here for these guards because we're, we're preparing for the Serratos. Okay, we're just dropping them off there. Um, and yeah, there we go. So now I have a look and see what we need. There's the compies. I need that. So I need to unlock this small carnivals too, I think it is. And then we're just going to do some research with these guys. There we go. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So we're bringing over the Serratos to the new enclosure. And yeah, so there, I can level up, I can train them just to give them some extra points so at least they can help me more because they're lazy bastards. <laughs> there we go, everyone's sleeping and resting. Like I say, I actually take that off at a later stage. There we go. Don't just shove extra stuff in there for more people to come and see. I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, they were quite happy with the enclosure. I made it 100% for them. So they are absolutely perfect currently. I decided, yeah, let's add some rocks into the enclosures. I want to do more details in the enclosures as well by adding more rocks, um, maybe making two patches of water, which I think will be quite nice. Now, you'll see later in the Carnotaurus um, enclosure, I actually add um, some, uh, like a little island on their patch of water. They don't like any trees. They just want open areas, which is quite funny to me. And this is where I figured out we actually have decorations, which really made me laugh. I thought, yeah, let's, let's shove one by a toilet, make it look nice and neat. I thought, let's shove a tree there, found a nice big tree, and I decided to add little bushes. The only sad part about this is that, for example, with the rocks, you can't overlap them to make it look like a kind of formation. Um, I know, yes, I'm going back to Planet Zoo. Planet Zoo lets you overlap things so you can have a tree with little bushes around it so it actually looks like it's part of the tree and all of that kind of stuff see there was not enough space so guess what i had to do i had to make it bigger so i thought let's uh we darted them quickly serratos and i upgraded the fence line to level three because i thought hey that's going to be a bit of a mission i thought let's add another viewing point that could be quite nice there we go I'm getting used to building the corners now. Well, corners. <laughs> and to put another damn generator down. Okay, and then we literally moved them over. Added some more tree lines. 
or more forest, sorry, I do apologize. And I, I expanded the water a bit just to give them a little bit more water because they do prefer uh, the areas. Yeah, and I just, I just watch the uh, territory needs. Uh, yeah, I really wanted to do cohabitation with the compies. So that was my biggest thing was, was looking for little compies. Uh, I can't remember what I looked for yet. I don't think I did anything. Oh wait, the uh, oh that was the Carnotaur. Okay, yeah, the the, the, the Carnotaurus, nice little fast little little armed little beast little thing. Okay, not that little, actually damn big. Um, so I did decided to do more research and uh, you know just try and oh yeah, I was quite happy with that. Um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm quite happy with that space because I managed to put the exp um, another uh, center in there. Which is really, really cool. There we go. So I managed to finally build my arc with the with the doctors, and I mess up the path there. <laughs> and there we go. And I built another bunker. I had to I had to build more than one bunker. And I opened that one, um, and then I realized, huh, it's not really going to help much. So I had to physically take people to go fix them. I said, hey, you, asshole, come here. There we go, Exhib exhibition, check this. Oh, it was perfect fit, absolutely perfect fit. I was going to add some plants and rocks around it, but I completely forgot. And there we go, and I was quite happy with that. The visitor center is very cool. And I've kind of forgot you had to fill up food and fuel for those other places there, which is really cool because it adds some realism to it. Very happy with it. Yeah. So I only had two there. And I thought, no, nah, I don't want to waste my scientists just researching on two. Oh, viewing viewing platform, because now I'm getting ready for the Carno tour. The Carno, as I like to call it. JC, I, I messed up here so bad. I was so upset with this. I was actually very, very upset with this. I thought, just delete that quickly, shove that there. And I was so disappointed. You have no idea. I try to I try to make a plan here. It wasn't working, and I just I, I just gave up. I decided not to do this. I thought I'd just include this just so you can see what goes through my damn mind. Not much. <laughs> I wasn't going to get it straight, and I thought, meh. Okay, so there it is still perfect, but not a hundred percent, which really sucks. So I decided, yeah, let's carry on doing the research on the Carnotaur. And, uh, you know, just watching a bit, seeing what's going on. I like to watch the dinosaurs as well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I decided not to. I think I did some research. Yes, I did. So I could get to my compies. I actually added my compies, I think, before my carnot. No, I didn't, actually. My carnotaur was pretty good. Hey, yeah, and I had to refuel that because I went to zero. Finance overview. I was not making a lot of money. Okay, here we go. So I decided, do I add this one or do I add the normal one? I thought, no, nah, I'm just going to add the normal one. And I decided, you know what, I need I need proper stuff here. I thought, let me make this one square, which I did. I decided to make it square. It was just a lot easier for me to do. Um, there we go. Finally made a little substation. And then I just had to make an actual power station. Thought, let me go around the back here. A little bit of a cheat there. Okay. I don't like having power lines showing, but unfortunately, you know, you kind of have to. The Carnotaur, I did get to 100% as far as I know. I did have an issue with the Ranger Station. They, you know, The one vehicle was stuck. You'll see later. It was quite a, quite a funny little thing. There we go. Added all my different ranger teams and all that added a fence yep, yep, everyone's getting tired so I'll have to get them sorted there we go okay so I did again I did uh, all random so I'm only going to do random skins for this playthrough as well apart from a carnival only but yeah I really I'm and I was so upset with that I was just so close to having a proper this this made me upset here to be honest because I I wasn't straight I didn't want it to sit like that. 
So I brought it out a bit and oh, attaches the road. Nope. Mm -mm. And then I just got upset and I was like, nah, stuff it. And um, oh, again, nope. Mm -mm. All right, let's just shove it there. Done. At least it's done, done and dusted. No issues. That's why I'm thinking I need to um, restart this so I can build it evenly. If that makes any sense at all. Now that was, I was just checking on that. The sabotage. I remember the sabotage thing. I did make this a little bigger. I thought, nah, I better make it bigger because it is Carlos. They do like this space. And I thought, hey, let's build another viewing platform. And I thought, let me think ahead here. So we need to build a toilet, which we shoved down, and a bunker. Then food and drink. I didn't put down a um, shopping one for some reason, but I did need another power station. Ah, oh, man. Trying try to make it evens. Mm -mm. There we go. Much better. It's kind of even. It still doesn't look right to me. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes, I got rid of the, the generator. Um, because to me, it was just a waste. So there we go. Okay, we are golden. I thought, let me build another one. There we go. It's actually amazing if you don't place it right. It becomes terrible. All right. See, there we go. I decided to add a bit of a little island, but I'll, I'll need to fix that because I want to put a... Um, yeah, they just wanted sand, so I just shoved sand in, and they were extremely happy, which was very strange for me. There we go, check, there's a vehicle stuck in there. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'll go to it later. <laughs> it really made me giggle, I have to admit. Okay, now we did a little bit more research. Oh, no, nope, not enough people, because they're all resting and sleeping and carrying on. So I've really done the compi. Um, which I'm very, very happy about. And I thought, let's go for more mediums. And, yeah, I was just messing around with the missions there. Okay, so there were there wasn't enough space because I had three people sleeping and uh, two or three people doing research. My appeal wasn't that great. So I decided to have a look. Okay, so shopping was my big thing. There we go. And I decided let's add one there. And that's all I did. Should have added another one, but I didn't. And I thought, oh, jeez, I've got to fix these up. Uh, which I did nice and quick. It doesn't bug me right now. When I get to the bigger amenities, like large amenities, then I start doing proper research and things like that. But for now, we're just chilling. Okay, making sure I've got about four minutes to get this one done. It's for the compies, as far as I know. We didn't get their genome 200. Yeah, look at that vehicle. So what I had to do, delete it. Then I just had to build one of the new ones. Okay. And I just quickly did a, I just reassigned everything. Um, yeah. Is that a reassign everything and do some more research and extraction? I didn't realize this was going to happen because the dialos, you see, I'm having a look. They're like scavengers. No problem. These guys don't like anyone. And the dialos like scavengers as well. So I decided, hey, let's put the scavengers in there. Huzzah. They get eaten. So that was a lot of fun. There we go. It was a 92. It's not bad. I can't remember if I got them to 100. Because there was a new mission that came through. It should pop up pretty soon. There we go. And we just did some more research on that. Alrighty. Everyone's resting up again. I think it was Claire who came along. See, I even decided to put a normal feeder. There we go. See, release more dinos. I need to release any four dinosaurs. So I decided... Hey, let's release the compies. And I'll do some more. Well, I thought I'd let's do some exhibitions. There we go. Okay. Yes, color. Yes. Save and exit. Longevity. I'll really enjoy longevity. 
I'm just yakking away about, there we go. I had to wait for the expedition to be done because I didn't have enough scientists to do the research. There we go. Okay. And we decided to release them. And then you'll just see warning after warning at the top. Blah, 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 blah. Boop. Okay. Boopy toots. Done. Look, I'm hopping. Okay, so I had to make sure they were fine. Okay, no, they needed sand. So I decided, let me just add some sand by the water. And hunt in progress. Dead dinosaur. Hunt in progress. Dead dinosaur. I didn't realize I was going to do that. So I decided, to, nope, okay, that's not going to work too well. There was only two left by that point. I had seven. And there were only two left. Okay, and then I decided, you know what? Let's just release them. Now, like I say, the carnotaurs didn't want anyone near them. Oh yes, my dinosaurs started getting sick and it spread like wildfire. I always had one and then three and then four and then one. And oh my word, it was just absolutely insane. I was panicking. I was actually panicking. But my medical team was quick on the mark and got there very quickly. Then I know I decided, you know what, we're going to finish off around here. We just wanted to get my dinosaurs all nice and healthy. And we decided, I think we... Oh, we were talking about the hybrids. Oh, I don't want to get there just yet. But I do need my Spinosaurus. Okay, my Spinosaurus is my most important dino. That is the one I'm going for. So there I decided to take off the scientist unrest. Uh, because it, it was just becoming too much of a pain. And it cost $75,000 every time. Oh, they couldn't get this guy because he was stuck. So I decided to take charge myself. And then I took the helicopter as well, or like I like to call it a helicopter. There was a bit of a mission. There we go. And then we transported him. Couldn't find an open space. Finally found one and booted him. And then it was time for me to go. Um, and then we just had a quick look here. Transmission. Okay, he's still sick. I'm still double checking. But yeah, guys, I actually had such a blast making this video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I didn't script this at all. I'm just blabbering away, as you can tell. But it's fun. I like it. You can actually uh, hear how I really am. But yeah, I decided let's send them out for one expedition. And saved it. And I was done. Alright, guys. I'll chat to you again soon. And goodbye.